All right, let's take a look at the webcam demo LabVIEW project, specifically getting started with the single image version of main. I have my webcam attached to the USB port of my Rio. This project has three top level applications. I'll begin by opening single image version of main. Now in this demonstration, I'm looking at the original image as seen by the webcam. Have some information underneath about the image resolution. Looking at the processed image on the right side, and here's some processing parameters for this edge detector. Anytime you need to make a change, you'll need to rerun. This is basically a single pass acquisition, and then it stops. Now we're just concentrating on the edges for that triangle. You can pick your desired webcam down here, especially if you have multiple cameras attached by a USB hub, then you would have all of those available in that little pull down list. Now looking at the block diagram, I begin by looking at vision and motion sub palette. And the program begins with iMac Dispose that frees up the memory used by any previously created images. After that, I'm using iMac Create to make the image buffer for iMac DX Snap. iMac Create is located under Vision Utilities Image Management. It's located right there. Back up a little bit. Under NI iMac DX, there's Snap. And Snap is set up to be the easiest way to capture a single still image. The session in input, that's back here. That's the cam zero or camera webcam selector. All right, image out goes to two different places. It goes to the front panel display original. Show you how to get one of those indicators that's located right here under vision and i've done some work on this already specifically i've hidden the roi tools rescale this a little bit also gotten rid of the scroll bars and then to size this i'm holding the shift button down so that way the image scales proportionally All right, let's see what we have next. The image is now being passed through a utility to extract the gray level or Luma image. This is extract color planes. And it's located under color utilities. There it is, iMac extract color planes. That accepts the color image. Then it accepts an image for the output. And I'm using another iMac create for that purpose. Then I attach as my desired output, the Luma output. Now you have multiple modes. That's why all of the inputs and outputs have multiple names. I'm using hue, saturation, and Luma mode. Now this gray level image goes into the canny edge detector that's located under image processing. And it's located right there. And here we take the gray level image or Luma image as the source and then pass that off to a second display on the front panel. Filter parameters. I created that fairly easily. Let me show you how I'm going to delete this wire for just a second. Right click and say create control. And that's how I made the control that appears on the front panel. And the output shows up on the right side. And finally, the air cluster propagates from one VI to the next and eventually terminates at simple air handler.